I'm going to give you a spoiler warning off the bat, so if you've yet to see The Witchfinders, then please leave now and come back afterwards, otherwise let's get on with the review. So The Witchfinders is set in the early 17th century, and the Doctor and friends find themselves dealing with some witch trials, and naturally, they work to get to the bottom of the situation at hand. So. Although I enjoyed The Witchfinders a decent amount, it didn't do anything particularly memorable for me. That said, it didn't do all that much wrong, but nothing really stood out to me in this one. So in terms of things that do actually work in this episode, I thought that Jodie Whittaker did a great job as the Doctor. Overall, she's just a fun and amusing presence in this episode, but she takes things seriously, and she has quite a good scene when she is chained up and conversing with King James, and I enjoyed it early on when she was telling off Becca. Our companions in the TARDIS work well this time around. Ryan's amusing, Graham is lovable, and Yaz is useful. Uh, I don't think the balance worked as well as it worked the previous week, but overall I feel that they all worked pretty well, and while they didn't get a ton to do, they still helped in ways, and I enjoyed their presence. Something else that works is the music. It starts off in about the first half of the episode with mostly being music designed to be in this time period, which worked well enough, and then as it went on, it turned into a more traditional music for this season of Doctor Who, as the episode, rather, turned into a more traditional episode. And I really like the music for this season, and I just think it's lovely. And for what they could do, the episode does look good. It wasn't quite eye candy like I feel like it's been this whole season, but it was good looking and they handled the setting pretty well. Now let's talk about the supporting cast. Willa does fine for me, she didn't take me out of the episode, although the performance by her mother, or grandmother, I can't remember, uh, but that performance feels a little off to me. Uh, Becca's okay, and I wasn't in love with her, but she worked well enough, I feel. But King James, oh boy, <laughs> he, um, honestly, when he first showed up, he just did not feel like a real person to me. He felt very exaggerated, and that ultimately irritated me, so he really just had an uphill battle the whole episode, and eventually, I started to be able to take him more seriously, like when he wasn't being ridiculous, but yeah, uh, it was uh, a ways into the episode before he worked at all for me, so I'm gonna settle and call his performance mixed for me. I didn't exactly... Uh, find the plot terribly interesting in this one. I just wasn't all that interested in them trying to get to the bottom of what was going on because it never felt like there was any real driving force in the episode, so stuff just kind of went the way that it did. And it turns out about halfway through that there are mud zombies, <laughs> and uh, in the end, surprise surprise, it turns out to be aliens, which is just not that compelling to me. Uh, I don't mean to come off as terribly harsh on this one, because I did enjoy it, and I had fun at times, but that was because of our characters, not because of the actual story. Overall, I did enjoy this episode. The new characters were not that interesting, and neither was the story, but our main cast managed to carry the episode by being rather entertaining. It was a fun episode, just not one I will be revisiting soon. I'm going to give The Witchfinders a 7.25 out of 10. If you join me next week, then I'll be giving you a review of It Takes You Away. I've already seen it, and I seriously can't wait to discuss it. So be sure to let me know what you thought about this episode down below. I'm more than happy to have a conversation. And actually, that review of It Takes You Away will probably be back in less than a week, because I'm going to record it tonight and get it up as soon as I can. So I hope to see you in the next um, couple of days here when I get to It Takes You Away. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care, and have a lovely week.